my dear friends, do we understand the meaning of war? Do we know or think of that war of 61? No, we do not. Only those brave soldiers and those who had occasion to be in it can realize what it was. I can and shall never forget that terrible war until my eyes close in death. The scenes are just as fresh in my mind today as in 61. I see now each scene, the roll call, the drum tap, lights out. The call at night when there was danger from the enemy, the double force of pickets, the cold and rain, how anxious I would be not knowing what would happen before morning. That many times I would dress, not sure, but all would be captured. Other times I would stand at my tent door and try to see what was going on because night was the time the rebels would try to get into our lines and capture some of the boys. It's mostly at night that our men went out for their scouts and often had a hand-to-hand -hand fight with the rebels. And although our men came out sometimes with a few killed or wounded, none of them were ever captured. We do not, as the black race, properly appreciate the old veterans, white or black, as we ought to. I know what they went through, especially those black men, for the Confederates had no mercy on them. Neither did they show any toward the white Union soldiers. I have seen the terrors of that war. I was the wife of one of those men who did not get a penny for 18 months for their services, only their rations and clothing. I look around now and see the comforts that our younger generation enjoy and think of the blood that was shed to make these comforts possible for them and see how little some of them appreciate the old soldiers. My heart burns within me at this want of appreciation. There are only a few of them left now. So let us all, as the ranks close, take a deeper interest in them. Let the younger generation take an interest also. And remember that it was through the efforts of those veterans that they and we older ones enjoy our liberty today. This is Samira Wiley inviting you to join us on March 23rd at 6 p.m. Eastern on Zoom for the premiere of the Susie King Taylor Project. Susie King Taylor was born into slavery near Savannah, Georgia in 1848. She learned to read and write in secret schools led by black women. And at age 14 became the first black teacher to openly educate African-Americans in Georgia. She was also the first black nurse to serve in the Union Army during the American Civil War. I'll be reading selections from her memoir, Reminiscences from My Life in Camp, published in 1902, to help frame a powerful guided discussion grounded in the perspectives of black nurses and veterans about the lasting relevance of Susie King Taylor's words and story today.